Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Well, 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 we got an interesting story here, and you know I'm going to tell you how I feel about it and how I view. Before I get into that, I want to shout out a little 10-year-old pumpkin pie princess. Her name is London. Now, tell me, ain't that a powerful name? London. All right. London is a 10-year-old that watches my videos with her grandmother. Okay? And that was just such a, a nice compliment. But I'm like, London, close your ears now when I'm cussing. Because, I, you know, I, <laughs> I can't do a lot of that when I get mad about certain things. And in my commentary. So, I want to just shout her out. And hopefully you enjoy your summer. And all good things and blessings come to you, baby girl. <laughs> and, and get down in the comments and, and type something to your grandmama, your aunt, your um. Hey, you look at me, <laughs> Miss Funny Woman, okay? But we're going to talk about Wendy Williams, okay? We are going to talk about Wendy Williams and where her troubles seem to have started. And I'm going to say that's where it started. And y'all remember the Empire State Building dress costume she was wearing for one Halloween? I want to say about maybe four or five years ago. And what do y'all see in Wendy's face? Does that look like Gray's disease or something like that? They're trying to put on her or why she was acting the way she was acting? No. That looked like she was looking at something very demonic. Something that was scaring the hell out of her. And it could have been no hellhounds. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. That's just my conspiracy theory mind walking around here. But a lot of people are outraged that... Wendy's um, show, her legacy, all the what she was and she had became on the Wendy Williams show. They mad because everybody done um took everything down. But that wasn't Wendy to begin with. She was already bought and paid for. She was a part of a show. Del Mar Mercury, they own everything, even her name. Okay? Yeah. And so they screw up everything totally possible that you can probably want to imagine. Okay, then I think it go deeper than that. I, I think it go deeper than that. Because I didn't give, I, if I was winning, I wouldn't give a hell how water, hill of beans would happen to that shit. There was the, the wigs or the uh, chair, it doesn't matter. Especially if she's going forward. And trying to make it do what it do on something else that she can claim her own. And she has the title rights to everything. But what if I told you she may be really going to be resting in peace. Meaning her time may be literally up on this plane of existence. Just something to think about. And where I get my information from. Myself and I'm just looking. Being an observer and seeing how things are transpiring. Toward her. You know she lost a lot. She lost a man that she cared for. Built up. Uh, made famous. Okay. He went and called himself. What? Running with somebody else and got a child. That's when the shit started. And it just kept going on downhill. But I know y'all know this young lady I'm talking about. Whitney Houston. Remember Whitney Houston had it all. Had it all and then some. And look what happened to her. And from my understanding, uh, Wendy Williams party like that too. Okay? And as we can see, Wendy Williams started looking bad towards the end of her career. Right? Same thing with this young lady. And they wanted to say Bobby Brown had introduced all that stuff to her when it wasn't true. Wasn't true. 
Rebecca Sealant. What is her name? C C You know her auntie. Dion. Whatever her name is. She was strung out on medication, prescription drugs, and all of that. See, that pretty much started in her side of the family. Not Bobby's. But a lot of people want to forget all that because she was the voice. She was this, that, and the third. But actually, Whitney became a liability to Clyde Davis. Yep, the music mogul. And most people were speculating, including him. Um, allegedly, but I'm sure he had the conversations. But I have no proof of that. Uh, saw her being worth more dead than alive. And as we can see. All the stuff that start to transpire around her. And she called herself going to Michael Jackson. I think they were having something where they were honoring him. Uh, and she came out on stage looking like that. I mean, people were like, they had saw a ghost or what a remnant of a person, once a healthy person, turn into something like, ooh, child, like she probably weighed 80 pounds at the time. She wasn't eating. She wasn't doing nothing but with that ooh weed and all that other stuff. Cocaine, crack, heroin, anything she probably get her hands on. Because the organization had threw her away, in a sense. They had no more use for her. Her voice was gone. Even when she was trying to sing, trying to make it do what it do. She couldn't hit no note. She couldn't hit really a low alto note. But you know one person that was around her? Maybe a month or so. Dylan for That guy right there. Y'all know who it is. I ain't got to say his name. Yeah. They had said they were. This is what the vlog said now. They were in a relationship. They weren't in no relationship. He was her carrier. And her executioner. Allegedly. He was the last one with her. And some other folk. And they had even said in the public. That she was. Um, he was. In her, her, her room. And he immediately got out of there. And rolled it. You know got away and rolled on into the sunset. But he's supposed to be been so. Hurt. Of her death as well. Everybody looking at Wendy now. Everybody and anybody. They can sit there and tell. She's not well. But look who's with her. Look who is with her. Look familiar. Sound familiar. Is it familiar? But yet they want to make public think she's going to come out being this big old star. She's going to, you know, rebrand herself in another entire whole way. And she's going to be like that. Wendy not coming back, y'all. Wendy not coming back in that form. And if you really think about it, Wendy is a lot more... She's a lot worse. She's a liability. And she would be worth more dead than alive. Mm-hmm. Why do you think they stripped her name? It wasn't because of no Sherry coming on board. And they had to pretty much like wipe Wendy from the face of the earth. They didn't have to do that. Got to look at certain things and see how people move. Mm-hmm. This is a, just a theory. That's the only theory that I can come up with. Because Wendy, her last couple of videos that she had, she was doing at her house and all of that. Why in the hell would you have your jeweler be your manager? Uh, he sells jewels, jewelry. What else is his background? That you're going to have a podcast. And the way you say podcast. And where it's just trying to click. It don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. It's like you're talking. But ain't nobody there at home. But let's just hear. Let's just hear. Let's just hear a little bit. 100% retired. In the Wendy Williams show. And I don't want to be on TV. Except for guest hosting. Like I love. When we go Goldberg. I love the view. I love those girls. You know, an hour, you know, two hours, you know, but I don't want to be in partnership, maybe, or maybe not. Now, how did she get with, she liked those girls, 
those girls on the view. And then she started talking about partnership. Where was the disconnect? How did we get to talking about that? And we were just on the conversation of you wanting, you liking the girls on the view. And you trying to make a comparison, which still didn't link up anywhere. But we'll listen some more. Yes. And what I've never done, podcast, which by the way, podcast everyone has. But when you're famous, podcast will make more money for me being famous, for me being famous, than doing the Wendy Williams show. So, podcast, where will I go? I'm not sure. Europe, you know, the France, wherever I want to go. But I know Oz, I know, you know, many. <laughs> now, she, loved, she, she said podcast. She didn't break it down, which we knew Wendy when she was well. She could break that shit down and tell you exactly what she's going to do, who she's going to be working with. And she probably wouldn't tell us no surprise guests because she wanted to surprise us. But she's like repeating something somebody told her. And she's trying to remember all of what she should tell the people. See what I'm saying? Because she kept saying podcast, podcast. Uh, Wendy, you should know what a podcast is. But you see, they're putting her out there to make us think that she has all her I's dotted and all her T's crossed. When in reality, she don't. We probably don't even know where she at. And I get so tired of looking at bloggers saying, oh, she's coming back. She's going to make a comeback. Whatever happened to let Wendy be a, let, let, let's leave Wendy alone for a while. And pray that she gets well. Because everything of what she's saying doesn't make sense. So you're telling me she's going to be able to interview people? Because she was just on an interview with Fat Joe. Fat Joe trying to you know, run his numbers up on his show. And he's talking to Wendy. And Wendy talking out her head. Did none of that shit make sense. When uh, Fat Joe had her on his um. Uh, his show, especially when she started talking about, you know, we're talking just between us. And Fat Joe had to say, well, Wendy, we got the people. We got the audience here. So, you are, are you coming back? You know, he's just trying to put her back to where he wanted her to be. Like he was leading her into the interview questions. But she wasn't catching it. Total. And then they said it's going to be the Wendy Williams experience with her jeweler as her manager. And he's going to set all this stuff up. And he's getting all the deals. And it looked like he is going to become another dead Mar Mercury. Pulling, the, pulling all the stops out on this young lady that is really out of her mind. Okay? So I can kind of see why. Not saying it was right on how they did her with the Wells Fargo situation. But any baby worth their salt could look at Wendy and listen to Wendy and know Wendy's out of her mind. Everything's not clicking up there in her head. Something done shut down. And the people that she has around her, to me, they're like opportunist people. Because you're not going to tell me that manager is sitting up there and going to work in her best behavior. Or he's going to work in her favor to get her back on the mainstream. And you remember she called herself when her whole life was spiraling out of control. She was with a younger guy. Her friend, she said. Too young. Could almost be her son. She walking around in the streets with socks on. Now, could you do that because you all that and then some? Yeah, you could. But why would you? That's not a good look either. And I keep telling y'all, when her life starts going downhill is when that Halloween, whatever she saw, whatever she was dealing with. Because remember, we're in a spiritual world. And the two can open up for some people. Like teleportation or something like that. 
But that's my theory, y'all. Why we worried? Well, I ain't worried about it. But why other people worry about when she coming back so she can start making a big hit again? We don't had her life in a sense. She really had no friends because when you become a blogger and you like to start beef with people. Mm, and you were doing it to people that you hung out with. You were telling their business on the air and, and giving your opinions on how they should or should not live their life and who they should and should not have in it. That was the basis of your show. So we could see you were lonely when it came to uh, female type of friendships and, and, and lasting relationships, even with males, because you dog both of them out. Um... And I don't know why her son is not spending a lot more time. I could be wrong. But I'm not seeing anything that makes me want to change my mind. That he's not helping her. He's not around her. He's keeping people away from her that wants to do her more harm than good. Like I said. They just claiming stuff that was theirs from the beginning. Wendy was just like. You know how it is where Congress in the political world make all the real decisions. And the president is more so like a spokesperson for what needs to be told to the American people. But in a sense, with certain things, he don't have no power. He has to go and ask permission to the Congress to uh, see, you know, make them see his way of thinking. That's how it is when you get bought and sold for the industry. Just because it was Wendy Williams, she should have negotiated better and said, I want to own that name. Y'all cannot own my name. So when she comes back, she can't say the Wendy Williams show. Even though it's not going to be a show, it's supposed to be a podcast. But it's, it has to be something different than what was already out on her. Because technically, hmm, that's their property. All that stuff they bought for uh, her. They would let her hair. Who's going to want her hair, her wigs? Who's going to want to really sit in that chair? But my ideal is how they're going to make Sherry fit in into the time slot that was once the Wendy Williams show. And are they going to do more imitating of Miss Lady than what they should be doing for Sherry? And making sure her platform starts right with the right type of backing. And it can go and build upon each episode of her show. So, we that love her, respect her, want to see it, see her do well, even in her latter parts of her life. Because some person is not wanting her to even, they really like, <laughs> they really want to bury her in a sense. I'm talking about like up under the ground, out, you know, down in the ground, honey. That's where I'm going with it. They can care less about what we feel or what she feel. Because they don't strip her already. Canceled all her social media accounts. Which she didn't run them anyway. Somebody else was running them. They may have uh, uh, told her what was going to be said or uh, done to her site. But she had no control of that. She been relinquished that. She never had it from the beginning. So it, it just mind boggles me where you have a lot of bloggers out here saying, Well, that's hers. That's hers. They can't do that. They, they can do anything they want to. Because Wendy is, may have been naive at the time when she got in, in the bed with them. Signed contracts. Got to read that little fine print. It tells a lot of what you can and cannot do even after you leave them. And it was a mutual situation. Or if you, even if it wasn't a, a mutual situation of her coming and going and leaving and being not terminated or fired. But <laughs> they were making moves while she was out on sick leave. So, that's an opening ending case right there. The best we can do as human beings is to pray for her. And hopefully, she just retire and do something that make her happy. And do that well. And if she wants to do a, a podcasting or something like that, let it be on her own terms and let it be when she's well. Because Whitney hadn't been well for a long time. She let that money, fame, and greed get to her. They saw Meaning the Machine. 
or the, I, I would say the satanic world of, you know, doing what they needed to do to get souls and all that kind of stuff. But I won't bore you with that. You have to do that research on your own. But we can definitely have conversations about it. We try to put it down there in the chat. In the comment section. But that's what I feel. And that's, you know, that's just what I get from looking at everybody's side, everybody's opinion. But nobody's looking at the thing that's right in front of their face. How they say the Illuminati put stuff right in front of your face, but you, you don't want to accept that. You just want to think of other avenues, other plausible things that it can be when it's like, boom, right there. So... It just is what it is. I just thought I would make those two comparisons. And it's one common denominator. Which is Ray J. I call him the deaf angel. Because anytime he show up on some actress, actor, anybody in the music industry, anybody in the entertainment industry is on their way out the door. And I mean like casket ready. He always there. Go figure. Why is that? See these you're not answering those questions. You see what I'm saying? Those are the hidden questions that people want to ask, but they don't want to go directly and ask it. But that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. You have your writers like me. Just say, look at a situation. And from my experience and just being able to deduce certain things from reality what's fake, what's real, and what's plausible. But if they can do it to Whitney Houston, you don't think they can do it to Wendy Williams? <sighs> That's all I got for this video, guys. Hope y'all like it. Love it. Gotta have more. Please get down in the comments and let me know your thoughts on what I presented tonight for you guys. And please keep a prayer out for her. She definitely needs it. And she has enough money for now that we know of. Unless somebody's tampered with that as well. She can't go off in the sunset and just live life and do, how she say, podcast uh, on her own terms whenever she gets well enough. But she definitely don't need to be doing anything right about now. But that's just how the machine runs you. They run you in the ground. They take your very essence from you. That's why I really don't understand why a lot of people want to get into the entertainment industry and the music industry unless they own their whole stuff. And that's going to be pretty, that's going to be a, a tall order to fill because you got to have distributors. You got to have the connections uh, as far as per radio personalities putting you out there. And all of that costs, believe it or not. It's really a racket. But a lot of people don't look at it that way until they get involved. And then they can, <laughs> you always wondered about uh, one hit wonders. You know, like these arts, music artists that be bamming out hits and stuff. And then you don't hear from them anymore. <laughs> That's because they ain't going to do certain things to have fame, fortune, and celebrity ship. Where everybody's worshiping you. Okay. But again... Those are the two comparisons that I made that I was drawn to when I thought about doing, you know, uh, coverage on Wendy Williams and what's going on with her. I, I'm not like one of those mainstream people that's going to always report this, report this, report this, and it's the same old drama. No, report some of the stuff that you see that nobody's asking the questions about. And that's all I got, y'all. I will see y'all next video. Bye-bye.